Hey guys, this is Rez again from uh, Flipping Goods, presented by Power Up Rez. And I was just doing a new haul video, just some items that I was able to pick up with my wife. And uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, get started, see so we can uh, show what we found. So first, I wanted to uh, mention, show this little doohickey here. It's actually a vintage voice recorder by Olympus. Uh, comes in a nice little protective case. Once you open it up, you got the actual recorder here. We tested it, drew some batteries in there and tested it, and works fine. We don't have any of those little micro cassettes to fit in there to test the actual recording of it. Um, but the motors, the motors worked fine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just post it there on eBay. I think my wife was looking at to put it around $30. We picked it up for $2. So uh, if we can get 30 or more out of that, that would be great, I think. The next item uh, we found, picked it up for $10 at a Goodwill. Uh, I wish it was less, but they had it in the case. And anything by Logitech, they automatically try to get as much money out of it as possible. Um, this is a headset, a customizable headset for computer, game systems, so on and so forth. Uh, it's actually going more on eBay than it is on Amazon. Amazon's only going for about $25, and I believe it's also restricted. But on eBay, it's actually going for almost $50 here and there. So we're going to try and see what we can get out of that. Probably somewhere between $30 and $50. Alrighty, moving right along. Well, let's take a look at a sweater that my wife picked up. And uh, she's getting ready for, you know, for the winter. Uh, in the, in that quarter, she got a, a, a Bergatti, Bergatti, Bergali, uh sweater. And I mean, if you ask me, I think it's a little on the ugly side, but uh, she showed me what these things are going for. So, um, and that's easily, you know, 50 bucks or so uh, through eBay. And uh, surprisingly, sweaters do really well, especially some of these um, other these brands that I've never heard of. Uh, she actually found probably like a couple of a couple of months ago, two sweaters that I've never heard of the brand. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but uh, they tend to go, if they're new with tag, for like $200. And I'm not sure if, I think one of them may have been new with tag and the other one wasn't, something like that. But uh, yeah, she's got those in like vacuum packed. Uh, protected, filed away. Um, maybe one of these days, or maybe when it sells, one of them sells, you know, may show it on a video there. It's like, hey, look, this is what that uh, that sweater was. Anyway, let's move on to another uh, sweatshirt that my wife found. This is, one was actually new with Tag, and uh, it is a sweater for uh, English football, Liverpool. And uh, my wife was asking me because she pulls up these like s these shirts and stuff that has teams. It's like, is this a real team? Is this a local team? So on and so forth. So she sh showed me this one. I'm like, oh, Liverpool. That's that's big time in at least in England. So uh, I haven't done any research on it. My wife says she's going to go ahead and sell it. So I'm going to let her do all the research for it. Picked it up for I think it was like four dollars at a Goodwill. Like four or five dollars, I think, maybe six. All right, here goes another shirt, and this one. This is actually a real beautiful shirt. Nice color to it. Um, it is by Panhandle Slim, and it is basically a retro western wear. So let me show you this, this shirt. This is like I said, a real beautiful shirt. Um, it's got the rose, got roses on it. Complement the red and black um, motif on it. Uh, even got the rose on the sleeves. It's got like this, like almost like a black pearl snap for the shirt, uh, size large. And 
actually my wife just listed this shirt as well and you know she's already getting like people messaging her about it uh, wanting to know additional information like the size you know the the measurements pit to pit sleeve I'm knocking over something else I was about to show you and so on and so forth so um, I think she's got it right now currently 50 or 60 dollars I'm not sure so and it's still getting a lot of attention so hopefully that'll actually be gone soon next I have a pair of new tag Jordan Craig jeans and black jeans uh, slim slash skinny jeans 40 by 32s um, so these from what I can tell generally go for about fifty dollars so that's probably where I'm going to be putting it so like uh, my jeans new tags because you can get some good money off of some of these all right now what I'm going to show is oh before I do that last of the you know clothes um, outerwear clothing this is a woman's London fog puffer jacket new with tags um, size XXL this is I thought it was real it was a real beautiful puffer jacket it's like a mixture between puffer and sweater um, so we'll show the whole thing off here yep this thing's going generally about thirty forty dollars so um, that's probably right where I'm going to be putting it it is stuffed with down and waterfowl feathers so it's you know pretty pretty nice uh, puffer there now I'm going to move on to this item that we picked up for about two dollars at a thrift store and I talked my wife into getting just because uh, it's just two dollars she wasn't sure about it she didn't know what it was but I had an idea just because I saw the brand name it is a Don Joy Ultra Sling 4 um, it actually is missing one of the what do you call these things I guess slim uh, slings or bands it's supposed to be a three-point uh, sling and then it has the cushion to keep your arm at a good distance it has a sling that goes across the bat on um, the body one that comes around the shoulder and then the piece that's missing goes from one side of the shoulder all around the pit to the other side of the shoulder to just really isolate and just freeze this whichever arm is it's, uh, it can be used for both the right or left to just freeze that arm so it doesn't get it doesn't get used it's held in a good comfortable position breathable um, probably can get twenty dollars out of it so um, that's even with missing that one band all right now I'm gonna go ahead and oh, got one more actually electronic and I've done pretty well with these even though I haven't sold this exact one but it is a Sony s2 uh, professional CD radio I think it's professional audio professional no present audio system uh, CD radio the only issue I found so far with this is just that the battery port cover is missing take 6c batteries I've sold the cassette Walkman I've sold the CD Walkman and then um, my actually when my in-laws came up they brought this and I was like wow if I could only if I had only held on to that see the cassette and the CD Walkman I could have just sold the whole set in one fail swoop but uh, I got to clean it up a little bit but easy going 50 60 bucks so uh, well, that's what I'm probably going to list it at all right now I'm going to move on to shoes so now this is the first time that I have picked up one of these shoes it is the brand is Seychelles Seychelles um, this one in particular is a woman's uh, wedge sandal nice little teal slash bluish color to it um, overall it's in pretty good condition it's got a little um, break in the straps just down right where it meets the the base of the where the foot rests um, I mean the cushion's good the I don't even know what you call this like weaving 
it, you know, it's not pulled or anything. And that's on either of the shoes. So, you know, the soles look nice and, um, you know, not too worn down. So I thought, I've heard, uh, Seychelles does pretty well. Um, probably want to put these somewhere between 20 and $30, see how they do. Since it's summertime, someone may be, uh, want to jump on that. Next items, I, next shoes I found, um, these are actually, I was surprised what good condition they were. Um, they are JS by Jessica Simpsons, by Jessica Simpson. It's a you know, beautiful red on those shoes, almost like a you know, ruby slipper color. Uh, what really drove me uh, to these is that the heel and the soles are in near perfect condition. It's almost as if, uh, you know, the person who, the woman who wore these wore them once in her life and then sent them off to the Goodwill. Um, I picked them up for six dollars. I'm looking at, especially since they're in such great condition, I mean, they're near mint. Um, and you can see the tread, you can see the, the a defined edge all around the heels. So I'm looking for probably around 30 for these. Um, I do have a couple of other Jessica Simpson heels pumps that I have found and they've gotten a lot of attention. Though no one's really pulled the trigger on them yet. But um, these, I'm sure these won't last too long. Alright, the last two uh, shoes I'm going to show are the kind of shoes that you only dream of coming across, I feel. The first ones are Bates Uniform. These are uniform slash like military boots. These, you know, new with tag. You can see in the soles, they have not been used, haven't been laced up. Maybe, you know, they've been tried on once or twice, something like that. Got a nice little uh, branding there on the heels of the boots. Um, also, it has the composite toe there, and you know, for the size of the shoe, pretty lightweight. Got the Vibram soles. So these picked them up for. They were thirteen dollars, I believe, at a Goodwill. They had the um, the special tags on them, and these are going anywhere between fifty and over a hundred dollars. So. I actually have these currently listed already, uh, right at a hundred, and getting some good uh, you know, traction through there. So a lot of people are interested in them, but again, no one's pulled the trigger as of yet. And the last item I was going to show from this haul, again, one of these shoes that you only kind of dream of coming across. These are Foot Joy Classic golf shoes. Um, I mean, look at this. I haven't even cleaned it up yet, and um, it's looking good. You can see the grass and the cleats and stuff. So that's basically where most of the wear is, is in the cleats. It's got the Foot Joy badge on there. Um, you know, you can tell it's like a, it's kind of like a wood heel. You can see the, the nails that are beaten in there to keep the heel attached. Um, it's just got little bent, you know, creases here from posing with your follow-through stroke and things like that. Good thick leather tongue. I mean, these are, you know, beautiful, especially once I clean them up a little bit. So, these, uh, probably going to put these around somewhere between, probably $60, but somewhere between 50 and 60 but most likely 60 all right, so that is all that hadn't been put away by my wife yet that we got recently out of a haul, plus uh, that boombox that my in-laws brought from their week visit this past weekend, or last weekend. All right, so I thank you all for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, uh, or suggestions, you know, please feel free to leave them uh, down in the comment area below. I just ask if you would please uh, keep it professional. And uh, again, if you like this video, feel free to click on that like button. Uh, if you want to see more of my journey through selling on eBay and Amazon, you know, click that subscribe button. And just a little bit, I will be actually posting another video of everything that sold in the month of June 2017. All right, thanks for watching, and have a good one.